staying in tonight is only 10 minutes from Annapolis Royal and I've already been here and shot a video about the German bakery Mad Hatter Wine Bar and one of my favorite restaurants Founders House and so I'm back this morning to hang out here and then we're gonna head over to the bus in the afternoon. The first place we wanted to stop was actually at the bakery Arch and Poe, which I haven't been to yet, but it looks so interesting. We ordered a chocolate croissant and then also a cheese and scallion bun. They don't serve coffee or tea there, so they pointed us down the road to the chocolate shop, which is also a bookshop. And there they actually make chocolate from scratch in house. They've got lots of chocolate truffles like this salted caramel and then also I got the hazelnut praline truffle because why not? Mm, they definitely use a lot of butter. This is good. I do love savory food, so this scallion and cheese bun is right up my alley. Mm. Mm, it's just really good. And although we didn't pick up bread, I couldn't leave without trying some of their butter. So they have a bunch of different types of butter that they have, but I got the smoked dulce. Very interesting flavor. So they said it kind of reminds them of um, like a traditional French anchovy butter. And I would say that, like the dulce definitely gives that kind of briny flavor to it. It's really good. I'm so excited that I got this. They sell these for $5, real butter, and as you can see, it's like packed to the rim, so definitely a good buy. And then dessert, and then finally we've got the truffle. But it seems like there's a lot going on around here. Now that you've got the bakery, the whiskey teller is right behind it, there are picnic tables so you can have somewhere to sit outside, and then you've got the boardwalk right behind you. Mm. Oh guys, this is good. She has lots of different kinds of chocolates and truffles. I love hazelnut and this is so good. Mm. So creamy. We're at the newly opened Whiskey Teller and I was so excited to come here because it is the sister pub of Founders House. It is known for fantastic rotisserie chicken, which we're taking with us to have for dinner tonight. But today we're having the fish and chips. The fish and chips are lightly coated golden brown and so tender. And what's interesting about this place is not only do they make the fish fresh, but they also make their chips every day, the coleslaw and the tartar sauce. And let me tell you, these chips look so good. Oh, this tartar sauce is amazing. Just four minutes from the bus is Dora and Frank's. It's a drive-in kind of greasy spoon, but also amazing ice cream place with like sundaes and parfaits and this is the drumstick so it's chocolate vanilla ice cream cherry on top chocolate and then on the inside it also has chocolate it's melting so I'm gonna try to eat it now mm. this is good this might be my favorite ice cream spot it's so good mm. School bus. This is where we are staying for the night. How cute is this? So the owners bought a school bus and then did all of the work themselves. They also have a business here. This is a botanical farm. So they make products. All of the linens and things that we need and then plate. So it's drinkable water. The table is all set up 
at the end of the night, we will just convert it to a bed. We've got place a kettle for some coffee, heater. There is no shower, but there is a compost toilet. And for drinks and things, we do have an electric cooler. So this is so cool. And then you have like such a beautiful view of this farm. And then you have just this beautiful, this is so beautiful. And this afternoon, I am just going to relax. I got a new book from the library and we are just going to enjoy the sun and do nothing. No Wi-Fi here, which means no work, just relaxing, totally offline. At the NSLC, I picked up the Fizz, which is a good robot fermented seltzer and it's in moon mist flavor. So that is the Nova Scotia ice cream that is bubblegum, grape, and banana. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, let's try this to see if it tastes like the ice cream. Oh, very strong bubblegum flavor. It's quite good. Yeah, it does definitely have like a moon misty type flavor to it. It was a good pick. Dinner from Whiskey Tell. We couldn't heat it up, so it probably doesn't do it justice, but we got the rotisserie chicken, potatoes with pancetta, some barbecue sauce, and they gave us a little bit of gravy too. What a beautiful morning. You can hear all of the birds, and actually you can also hear uh, frogs in the pond. 